binomial probability is what we're going to use for something that has two possible outcomes. Now that's not just flipping a coin that has two sides, but also it would work for rolling a die. Because even though it has six sides to the die, the two possibilities are that you're going to get the number you want or you're not going to get the number you want. So binomial has to be broken down into two and that's what our bi means there. This is the formula that we're going to be using. The NCR you'll recognize from our combinations, and we have a few other letters in here as well. So first off, N is the total number of trials that we are going to be using, so like how many times you're rolling the die or flipping the coin. R is how many successes you want. P is going to be our probability of success. And then Q is going to be our probability of failure. So these two are complements of each other. If the probability of success is 40%, then we'd expect the probability of failure to be 60%. If the probability of success is 1 out of 6, then the probability of failure is 5 out of 6. So here is an example that it can be used for. A die is tossed six times. We're going to find the probability that it will land on two exactly four of those times. And there's our formula. So first off, we're going to write our C. And we want it, um, we're tossing it six times, and we want it four times. So the six is going to go where the N is. The four is going to go where the R is. Next, I like to use a parentheses for the probability that it will land on a 2 for a die that's 1 out of the 6 sides. And then up here goes this number, the R, how many we want. So I want it to land on the 2 4 times. After that I need the probability it's going to fail. Well as I mentioned it completes the whole or 100% so if 1 6 is the probability you'll get it, it will be a success, then 5 6's will be the probability it will be a failure. And the number up here is going to be these two subtracted from each other. 6 minus 4 gives us 2. The other way I like to think of it is if 4 times we want to succeed, how many times out of the 6 does that leave to fail? So 4 successes and 2 failures adds up to a total of 6 times that we tossed it. From this point, we're going to go to the calculator. Uh, remember, I have to put in the 6 first, go to math, over to probability, down to NCR. I'm going to put in the 4 next. And then I'm going to write it just like I see it. Parentheses 1 over 6 raised to the 4th power. And then parentheses 5 over 6 squared. That has a point zero zero eight zero three seven five five one four and so on probability. Um, if they don't specify, that is a fine answer. You could also change it over to a percent, and when we do that, we're always going to move it two places to the right. So this would be 0.8% chance of happening. So that is uh, fairly low, that we're going to just have uh, a 2 exactly 4 times out of 6. But you should know that from your own experiences. It's not likely to get the same number over and over, or if you've ever played Yahtzee, to get 5 in a row. Our next one. The probability it will rain on any given day this week is 60%. Find the probability it will rain exactly 5 out of the 7 days this week. Okay, to start I'm going to put my C and I want 5 out of 7, so those are my N's and my R's. The uh, left side is always going to be the bigger one, the right side is always going to be the smaller if that helps. The probability that it is going to rain is 60%. Now I'm going to write that as a decimal in here, 0 0.60, or if you really like fractions, you could put it in as a fraction instead. This number here, how many days I want it to rain, goes up as the power. Next I need the probability it's not going to rain, so a 60% chance of rain, then it would be a 40% chance of no rain. And if I had, of the seven days, if I wanted it to rain on five days, that would leave two days that I don't want it to rain. Put in the seven first, math, over to probability, down to the NCR. Put in your second number, parentheses 0.60 raised to the fifth, parentheses 0.40 raised uh, to the second. 
This is a 0.261236 chance of happening, which is a fine answer. But if they'd like it as a percent, we're going to move it two places over. So that is a 26, uh, we'll just round off to there, 26% chance of rain on five out of seven days for the week. Now this is the problem I would like you to try, and then you can click the link to see how well you did. A doctor determines that the probability of any child born to a particular couple having a gene defect is one out of four. If this couple that they're talking about has three children, what is the probability that exactly two of the children will have the gene defect? Again, try it yourself and then click the link to see how you did.